Welcome back again to Epify Lab. Today I'm back again with another tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn a um, few things which are really important and in a uh, previous class we uh, learned how to install external plugins and uh, component and those things. If you have not watched my previous video, please go back and see my second uh, tutorial on this course. So yeah, let's start with uh, the class 3. Uh, in this video, we will learn about uh, view mixing in Nuxus, so and we will set up a very nice uh, method which we can use uh, across the whole project very easily. And also, we will learn how to install Axios API, call it Axios, and for calling APIs. So let's get started with uh, installing the Axios first. So I have already installed Axios um, here, so it's really super easy. There is a website uh, that provides this Axios. Okay. So you just need to go to axiosnaxios.org so you'll get the installation guide and you just need to do these things and this. So this one is really important for production. So you have, we will have a base URL which you can pass and base URL is really important when you uh, launch your project live in production. So if we do the production uh, version of this uh, application that we are doing in a uh, live BPS server, then I will show you why it is important. Okay, so uh, let's get started. It's really easy to install Axios, so I hope you can do it. Uh, okay, so let's start with view mixing. And uh, last time in my last video, I showed you how you can install plugins in uh, Nuxus. So if you have missed it, please go back and uh, uh, watch my second video. Okay, so here we I have a VI Vue.js, which is uh, which has installed the IV library uh, UI component library. Now here we will be uh, adding a mixing for a method so that we can call that method for getting uh, API data. So here is it. So we have a view mixing here and uh, and a method called API. And this API is uh, <coughs> this method is taking three parameter. You can see method URL and data object which you can pass dynamically. And we can use this method across uh, uh, the whole application. So let's get started and let's use this uh, method. Okay. So first of all, uh, this is an index page. Uh, okay. This is an index page, and this page runs every time we refresh the home page. Okay. And let's use this uh, home page for Excels. And let's find out some free JSON API. Okay, so here we, we can get some data. So let's, uh, I will be using this API for getting this fake data. So first of all, we will use async await uh, for this API call and everything. So this is really simple and uh, really, really useful. Async created, so we will use created method here. Await, this dot call API, so we will call our API. Okay, we don't call, uh, we don't use hint column. So this is a get method and we pass this data. So normally if you see my uh, method here, you can see the first uh, one is the methods and then URL and that object can be empty. So yeah, we don't need that one. Okay, so uh, you, you see this is very really simple one, one page calling. So if it is a push method, you can easily push the data. That's very, really, very really simple. So that's why I love using this way. Okay, so you can do console.log res and can see what data you get back. Okay, here you go. You get the data from the uh, from this fake API. You get user uh, data is user ID and status. So what you can do is, or what we uh, I do is, if Rest of status equal equal two hundred. Then I can console rest of data. Now here we go. I have the data, and I can actually uh, publish this data. Let's see if we can have a uh, different methods post. Here we go, we have a lot of posts, so let's use this post and let's guess this one. Here we go, we have 100 posts here. So that's really cute and we can use this. But normally when you uh, call a server or baking APIs, you do not use created. 
if uh, because I created runs a little bit later so if you want to make your application a little bit faster and uh, as your friendly you have to call it in async data so uh, on the other hand you don't uh, you don't call the async uh, every API is in async data because it might uh, make the, the system a little bit slower so you call every rest of the uh, API call in your created method and the most important part in async data so this mm -hmm. is how we do actually and if you yeah you see we have this call and we're getting this data okay so let's see what we have in our to-do list so we have installed uh, mixing and then we are we have used uh, axios api and in my next tutorial i will uh, show you how you can call the um uh, api url from async data and also we will build an applica to do application and in the to do application we will start using our adonix backend ad uh, adonis js backend and also model so we will get started with uh, real development now and then in the process you will uh, also learn how you can use uh, vue.js uh, as a reactive library um, uh, it's, it will be really really useful so guys let's stick uh, with the video and hopefully at the end of the course you will be able to build your own application your own modern uh, application using this uh, uh, text tag and it's really amazing and in future I might be able uh, to show you how you can use Redis uh, as a um, uh, faster database uh, database uh, before you access the MySQL as a cache, uh, cache database Okay, so let's not um, make this video longer. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Please like, share, subscribe uh, my videos. I'm really new to YouTube. So uh, your one subscription, uh, subscription, your one subscription will give me a little bit motivation. So guys, uh, please subscribe and get back to me uh, in, the, in the next video. See you soon. Bye.